Hello guys, welcome back here in my art life and for today's episode we are going to take a look at the Crayola 64 set markers. Okay, so actually this set has three kinds of markers in it and uh, I'm gonna show you here and we do have the ultra clean markers which are the regular markers and then the gel markers which are opaque ones and we have the window markers which are good for non-porous surfaces so uh, here it says eight window markers and eight gel markers so out of the 64 we do have eight gel markers and eight window markers and here at the back it shows you um, how the markers are used and how it would look like so the first one is for the regular markers and here are the gel markers which are used for dark colored paper and then the window markers which can be used for tiles or windows and uh, also it shows here that if you have the air marker sprayer you can actually use it on all of these markers because uh, it takes in a certain size of markers and uh, if you do have the sets you can use all of them in the air marker sprayer so soon um, we will have that air marker sprayer and I'll be showing it to you and how you know how to use it and uh, also if it's really useful or if it's a good product so I'm gonna show that to you very very soon um, as of right now we don't have the air marker sprayer yet but hopefully we get that in the near future okay so now let's get this opened up and uh, let's see how it looks like inside so as you can see here we have four boxes and then there are separate markers that are in plastic so um, okay so this first four are the window markers and it has a blue label and a white body and there we go those are the the eight markers and these ones are the gel marker so it has a black body and uh, it shows you the colors of the pens on the uh, on the cap and the back end so and now here are the four boxes which contains all of the rest of the markers so that's gonna be around 42 <laughs> I think but okay so here are the ones that are with the pinks and the reds and here are the yellow oranges and blues and um, so let's look at the next one here are greens and uh, there's a few blue there All right and let's look at the last one this is my favorite actually this is the skin tone uh, set and each box there has 12 pieces of markers and they're all in a set so it's very easy to use and it's very easy to choose which color that you're going to use on your illustration or on your drawing so uh, yeah um, here they all are and let's go to the next segment of this video which is swatching it and uh, as you can see here I have four um, swatch sheets and each one has 12 boxes in it and I made four because they're you know for each box and we are going to start off with the set with the reds and the pinks um, and there's a uh, one gray there so uh, what I'm gonna do here in uh, swatching these markers is that I'm going to show you the names of the marker and then I'm gonna swatch it so that you will see how it looks like okay so I'm going to do this for all the markers and each one of them and probably you're thinking uh, why am I or why did I made this video well uh, it's because I'm getting uh, feedback I'm getting comments uh, that they bought the same set of markers but when they look at the boxes inside there are like duplicate colors or sometimes two of the boxes out of the four have the same set of colors so right now well, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to see if the set that I have also has duplicates and uh, that's what we're doing right now so I'm looking at all of the uh, colors that I have and I'm also showing them to you so if you have this set you may also want to take a look at the names of each of the markers and um, yeah also uh, you may want to check back with your markers because what I noticed while I am uh, swatching these markers 
some of the colors are similar. But if you look at the names on each of the markers, they do have different names, totally different names. And um, although in, in the video, if you're going to look at the swatches, sometimes um, it would look as if the colors are the same. Well, uh, it's, it's not like that if you see it in person. It's different when it's shot by the camera. I'm not sure if it's because of the camera. But uh, yeah, in the video, it looks like some of the colors are almost the same. But I assure you, if you're gonna take a look at it in person, it, it's really not. It's just very, very similar. But if you color it side by side, um, you'll see that it's really not the same. It's not the same color. So, so far, um, we're done with the first set. And um, this doesn't have any duplicate names. Um, none, of, none of the markers have the same color. And again, it has a similar shade of color, but um, they are all different. So let's go over and um, check out the next set. So uh, this is the set that has uh, more of a mix of the color. And it has a yellows, orange, and blues, and even, you know, some shade of purple mixed up in there. So this is the set that has the most range of colors. And uh, let's take a look at them. So far I have that, like a, a, a dark blue there, then there's a light blue, then there's a purple. But again, uh, these have separate names. I'm going to show you the names again uh, at the end of the video. I'm going to take a picture of all of the markers side by side and um, so that you will see that there is no duplicate marker there. All of the names are different. Um, some will be almost the same just like I think uh, the yellows. It has a very um, similar name but they're very different. One is more uh, luminous and the other one is kind of a richer yellow so I'm gonna show it here so this is the yellow that I'm um, okay wait no this is not the one this is still like the orange or yellow orange color yeah when we get to the last two colors there those are the last two yellows um, okay here we go so this is the yellow that I'm talking about Okay, let's see both of them side by side. So I'm going to show you that um, colors may be very similar, but they're totally different. So take note of the name. They're not the same. And the first one that I used is the, the more luminous one. So it's more like a neon yellow almost. And then the next yellow is a more richer um, shade of yellow. So the last color here on the set is this gray one. And there we go. That's all of the colors for the set. Okay, so uh, let's move on to the next set. And um, it's going to be the greens and the blues. So the color ranges from uh, the lightest green there's also a color there that's almost a neon green and then it transitions to blue so we do have like the blue greens and the teal and then it, it trans transitions to uh, the darker shades of blue so yeah again um, just take a look at the name and I'm going to do my best to put the similar colors side by side so that um, you will see that they're not the same. Although hopefully the, the camera will do justice to the colors because um, from, from what I'm seeing here, some of them look like they're the same color. So I do apologize for that, but so far there are no colors that are the same here.
All right, so now we are down to our uh, to our last color, and uh, yep, yeah, here here we are. Uh, those are all of the colors for this set: the blues and the greens. And um, I'm flipping it around so that you'll see that uh, they do have different shades of color. Okay, and now let's move over and uh, let's swatch my favorite set. This is the skin tone set. And this one uh, has black, but this black color really isn't that black. It's more of like a very dark gray shade. And um, yeah, let's move on to the, the browns. And then it transitions to a more skin tone or a lighter skin tone you know to the like salmon color or flesh tone color and it does have one color that's on the uh, more of a like a pink color Okay, so now we are done swatching the last set, which is the skin tone. And here, let's take a look at all of the swatches or the swatch sheets side by side. So these are all of the uh, colors that we have. These are 48 colors. Yeah, hopefully this helps. And uh, like I promised earlier, um, this is the snapshot or the picture of all of the colors side by side. And uh, you may want to pause the video if you want to read through uh, the names of the each marker uh, you can do that and then you can just backtrack or, or something but yeah so far here on this um, set I did not find any duplicate colors or colors that are the same so if ever you bought this set and you see that there is duplicate colors it, it may have some problems with, with the packaging or the way it was packed when you bought it all right so that's it for today's video and thank you all for joining me today thank you for taking the time to go out and uh, watch this video and if you haven't subscribed yet please do click that subscribe button right now and also don't forget to click on that bell button thingy so that you'll be updated with every upload that i do all right so have a good day and take care. Bye for now and I'll see you on the next video.